All right, you're gonna start by laying down your square template on your piece of paper. If you can, put it in the corner and try to fit two per page. That will save you some time later on. Once you have yours traced in the corner, draw an X from each corner to create um, two perpendicular lines. Make sure you go from corner to corner and make sure these lines are straight. Next, you're gonna take some extra piece of paper, one or two, put them underneath your project and you're gonna cut out your squares. You need at least four blank squares. This is gonna give me many more than I need because I have two per page. Um, but again, that's how you create duplicates very quickly and efficiently. My next step is I'm gonna be drawing a symmetrical shape. Draw any shape you want. It can be organic or geometric, then fold it in half and very carefully cut it out along the edges. Once I'm done cutting out this shape, both sides are gonna be equal and the line that's folded in half is gonna be the line of symmetry. I'm gonna go take that blank piece of paper that I made a duplicate as, and I'm gonna be tracing this symmetrical image four total times. One on each one of these lines, and these lines are gonna act as a line of symmetry. Now when I'm tracing these lines, you don't have to measure, but try to keep it proportionally or equal from the center. In other words, you don't want one of these really close and one of these really far away from that center X. Um, again, you don't have to measure it, but uh, make it as consistent as possible. So I'm taking my time and I'm very carefully tracing out these lines. You're gonna start by laying your slats down on either side of your clay and using your rolling pin. Notice how the slats are not touching the actual clay. I'm also rolling from the center up and the center down. Don't roll from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. Next, put your square template on your tile, hold it gently with your hand, and cut out using the knife tool. The knife tool should be used cutting vertical um, and as upright as possible. Remove the excess clay and save that for later. You can use that to practice some engraving. Next, write your actual name on the back, not the word name. Write your name on the back. Next, take your paper tile design and you're going to be tracing and outline, uh, outlining all your lines. All these different symmetrical shapes, you're tracing to put pressure down through so your design is transferred onto the clay. What I usually do is check each design to make sure it's punctured through enough to make sure that you have an impre impression, otherwise all of that is going to be for naught. So make sure you're putting pressure down. Um, enough so you can get that relief or that texture through. So before you move that paper and kind of mess up your design, just take a peek on all the different corners. If they're there, then they're good to go. After you've practiced engraving on the scrap piece of paper, go ahead and move on to the final. When you're using your wire, a wire engraving tool, you're going to remove carefully clay from your tile. Notice how I'm holding it sideways. I'm trying to remove the clay, not just put a mark in the clay. So every time I do a, a stroke or a line, I remove that clay with my other opposite hand. Take your time and go slow. Don't rush. Remember, this video is sped up at uh, double the time or twice the rate, so you should be going a lot slower than this video is demonstrating. Once you've removed all the clay in your area for your shapes and your symbols, go through and make sure there's no imperfections or any flaws. There might be some different clay chunks that are in the engraved areas you might have to remove, and you might have to kind of smooth down the corners or the edges of the clay as well.